Hello, my name's Phil Gilhooley, and I'm one of the lecturers in forensic science at Liverpool John Moores University. My background is in operational police work. Until 2007, I was the officer in charge of the Fingerprint Bureau at Merseyside Police. Up until fairly recent times, the method of taking fingerprints from suspects and people for arrested for offence was the old system of manually taking them using ink onto fingerprint forms. In recent times, the police have developed a national computer system which applies to England, Wales and now Scotland. Basically, that system allows the police to take the fingerprints on a computer system which is called NAFIS, which is the National Automated Fingerprint Identification System, more commonly known now these days as IDENT1. This enables the police to take the fingerprints and palm prints from all people arrested for recordable offences. The fingerprints, once taken electronically, are transmitted to the National Fingerprint Database in Hendon, London. The advantage of the system, it's, it's a cleaner system, it's done in real time, and the person's identi identity can be verified usually in about 20 minutes. The other good point about this system is that the person's fingerprints are compared against all the outstanding crime scene marks for all crimes throughout the country. Obviously, the, elect the electronic system of taking fingerprints only apply when people are arrested and taken to nominated custody suites. The live scan equipment, as it's entitled, is only used in police custody suites. So obviously, when crime scene investigators and police officers go out to see people for, for example, to take their elimination prints, we still have to revert to the old system of taking fingerprints manually, which I would now like to demonstrate. In the many years that I've been involved in taking people's fingerprints, the methods haven't really changed, and neither has the equipment. You will see that we still use the copper plate to actually put the ink on, we use the fingerprint forms and we use a form holder to hold the form still. This, this piece of equipment is a palm roller which we, we use to um, take the person's palm prints on the reverse of the fingerprint form. One of the, um, the most important things that when you're taking somebody's fingerprints are sweat and fingerprinting don't mix. So you have to be sure that the person's hands are clean and dry before you take them. The second most important thing is that you get the right consistency of ink on the copper plate. We apply the ink to the pad using the following method. We put a number of spots of ink along the pad. We then, using the, the fingerprint roller, we roll the ink across the pad seeking a, a uniform consistency of the ink and it's helpful if that you use lift the roller as you're doing it, it, it um, ensures that the ink is evenly spread. Too much ink is as, is as, is as bad as um, too much ink. So what we're looking for is it consists of the ink which just shows the background of the copper plate coming through. So we can take any excess ink off using a piece of blank paper. We then have the plate actually ready to use to take somebody's fingerprints. We then get the, the person that we're going to take their fingerprints to stand straight onto the pad. We stand whichever side of the person that we feel comfortable on. And the important part of taking somebody's fingerprints is the way that you hold the fingers. Because you have to ensure that you fully roll the finger from side to side and including the tip of the finger. And what you're trying to produce on the fingerprint form are those areas of the finger which somebody might leave at a crime scene. So, I'm sort of right-handed person, so this is the way. These two fingers here 
will control the knuckle part, so I'm in control of the person's finger. These two fingers go on the tip to ensure that I get the impression fully rolled from side to side and to include the tip. So you get them to bend their fingers back. You get them to re relax their fingers, which is very difficult to do at times. You place the finger on the pad and you roll once across. You then place it onto the fingerprint form and you roll over so that you end up with a nice square impression. You carry on then. And one good tip is that you, as you let one finger go, you pick the, the next finger up and you do exactly the same thing. Place it onto the form, pressure on the tip, and you end up with a nice clear impression. You then go through the rest of the fingers, you complete the right hand, and then you go over and complete the left hand. And then, at the bottom of the form, you will see the right hand and the left hand taken as plain impressions and the two thumbs taken simultaneously. The reason we do this is to make sure that the right digits have been taken in the right places on the fingerprint form. And it's a quick check for the fingerprint officer in the bureau to check that you have indeed, indeed done that. So basically, you put the four fingers together of the left hand. You place them on the pad. You don't need to roll them for this part of the exercise. We just need to place them in the box. We need to place the right hand also in that part of the form. And we then need to take their two thumbs together. Just plain impressions, no need to roll them. After we completed the fingerprints on the fingerprint side of the form, we then turn the form over and we then have to record the person's palm prints because palm prints are used just as, uh, just as well as fingerprints to identify people. The method we use for that is <coughs> that we get the person's hands, we tell them to hold their hands up like that and we need to make sure that we we include those parts of that part of the palm that somebody would leave when they handle something in a crime scene. So it's important to get up the side, underneath the fingers, down to the wrist, and in between the thumb and the index finger. Once you're sure that you've got the, the palm print fully inked, you then place the palm print form on the roller, on the palm print roller. We've, we have the fingerprints on the other side of the form, so we're not bothered about the fingerprints on this side. So we start off, we get the person to hold the hand up straight, the fingers slightly bowed out, and we let the contour of the roller record the palms. And as you can see, we end up with a perfect impression of the palm prints of the person that we've been taking. Obviously, we complete all the fingerprints, and we're now in possession of that person's fingerprints, which usually these days are used for elimination purposes. That's when a crime scene investigator goes to a burglary offence or any offence where somebody might leave fingerprints during the process of the crime. We obviously need the elimination prints from the complainants to eliminate those marks from the ones that may have been left by the offender. They would be submitted with all the marks from the case, all the finger impressions or palm prints from the case, for the fingerprint officer to examine them before they do anything in relation to searching the outstanding marks. <laughs>